Howdy, me Velo Bart here, and welcome. And in today's video, what I'm going to talk about is another asset pack. And you see, I'm starting to get a collection of them. Um, this particular one's going to be a weapon component, and it is in the marketplace by Quick and Easy, and it is for 4.18. So what I'd like to do is give an honest review on what I think about it and uh, whether or not I'm going to be able to use it for any of my projects and how it looks so far. Um, but whenever you first get it, download it, you go to create a project and then you can call it whatever you want. Um, I've, I've got it, I'm actually using it as a base with other stuff, but I'm going to go into the normal version, what you get when you actually download it directly. So. When you first look at it in the editor, you've got a series of weapons and they all look alike. Okay. And you got uh, a couple pickups here and ammo and uh, ammo and various other ammo pickups. The controls are written on the walls. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and check the world settings. Game mode override is none. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up for a third person game mode. Let's see if that works. All right, so right off the bat, it's saying that we have a pistol. And we're in play mode. Um, 11 shots. OK. So we're holding as a pistol, and it's showing and we actually have a rifle in our hands. Okay, whatever. You know, these are just for the functionality and not necessarily trying to give you a whole set of guns to play with. But you can hit H to holster. You can see it uses a, a regular holster animation, puts the gun on the hip, and you can hit the one key to bring it back up again. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, first off, whenever you go into unarmed, um, you should stay in an unarmed animation and. I don't like that the, the developer of this asset pack didn't include a standard unarmed animation to go along with it, considering, you know, Unreal Engine 4 comes with one with a default animation set. It would just be a matter of changing the animation instance over. But since we already have a pistol, we can't pick up another one, and the jump animation kind of looks, well, dorky. So we can go over here and we'll pick up an assault rifle, assault rifle plus camera. We'll pick up, you know, there's a limit of eight guns that you can pick up. So once you reach your eight, you can see that it gives you an error saying, can't pick this weapon up, weapon limit reached. But being unharmed, it looks kind of dorky that you're going around trying to hold an invisible rifle. So, okay, pistol eyes. You have recoil settings inside the game, so you can adjust the amount of recoil for each gun. So, auto reload set up to, to run off the bat. So, if you right click, you get to zoom in. Accuracy is absolutely terrible, but okay. So, let's change to weapon 2, which is going to be kind of a weird that it has to go through two separate animations to be able to get a weapon out. Um, this is another one of your crosshairs. You get different fire modes. You can hit the F key change into a burst mode, kind of unrealistic uh, recoil there. F again, we'll go into full auto. Really horrible recoil system. Yes, I know you're going to have weapon recoil, and if you have any doubts about my ability to know anything about firearms, it will look through my channel. Alright, so let's go to weapon 3, which is, actually let's go back to number 2. Yeah, I'm not liking the double animation thing here, but you know, that could have been a little bit smoother. You right click and you get a nice little scope here, but you maintain that Y reticle in the center. Seems like you would want that to disappear whenever you go into a scoped mode. So, yeah, not liking that either. So, we go to weapon three. It has a different crosshair, a circle with a red dot. You right click and it kind of brings up a holographic sight. Mm. All right, well, let's go to weapon four. Switch over to this. This is going to be your shotgun. It's just circle only. Really outrageous recoil. No right-click functionality whatsoever. Yeah, okay. So let's go to weapon number five. 
and this is going to be a sniper rifle. It's like the, the projectiles are not going where they're, they're aimed. I'm getting recoil, but okay. Bit of an unrealistic spread for the uh, little sniper rifle. And crouch is a toggle instead of a, uh, it's a momentary instead of a, a full toggle. Z puts you on a cloak mode. Eh, I can't see myself using that in any of my game projects, but eh, cool feature. Um, so when you're zoomed in, you can use your your mouse wheel to change the magnification level. That's kind of cool. That's kind of useful. So we're on weapon five. Let's go to weapon six. And this is a lightning gun. Cool. No use for it in any of my projects, but it, it's cool nonetheless. Alright, there's no right click on that one either. And laser gun. It rate of fire is just single shot only. Alright, so the other thing is you can manually reload with the R key. And you got, um, of course, right mouse button is going to be your zoom. Uh, you can actually drop the weapon and it goes back to the unarmed. So you pull out another weapon here, and this is a grenade launcher. Mm, cool. Usable, tweakable. I'm not a fan of the recoil system in this um, asset pack, but it can be disabled. Really like that. I have no weapon 8, so I'm going to go back to weapon number 3, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the G key for dropping it as well. 4 key, what the heck, let's go ahead and drop it. And let's go over here and grab these other weapons. Have a homing missile launcher, rocket launcher, and sticky bomb. I can live with that. So going to the what's next here? Shotgun we don't care about. Grenade launcher we've already looked at. And the rocket launcher. Interesting effects. And we have the sticky bomb launcher. Okay, they don't want to stick to these walls for some reason, but they are there. You can see they cycle between yellow and red on the ground. A little bit of knockback on the force there. But you get, you know what, five of them that come out. Really cool. All right, so there, there is the um, the heat seeking or the the yeah, the two rocket launchers. One's a seeker, one's a, a regular. But okay, so there's some interesting weapons you can play with. You know, that's nice. I like that. Not a fan of the recoil system. Um, it takes a little getting used to. And you see, all of the weapon icons are the exact same thing. So the way that you would add a weapon into the game is you would go into the files, go into weapon component, and you got some cool stuff in here too. Unnecessary components was uh, audio, the camouflage for the 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 effect, your crosshairs, meshes, scopes, weapons, yeah, all kind of good stuff. But inside of the blueprints folder you have a BPA parent weapon and you have DT underscore weapons so what you would have to do first is go into DT underscore weapons and if you want to create a whole new gun okay we're going to hit the plus key here and then we're in our new row we're gonna call this new row B 
beefalo, whatever. I don't care. We'll call it the beefalo bard. And then we can give it a name. Call it the beefalo blunderbuss. Who cares? And we can tell it it's going to be type of rifle. Weapon image. If you don't already have your own weapon image, then you can just select one of the defaults from the, the asset pack. AR, you know, the assault rifle, the rocket launcher, uh, energy gun, or whatever. And then weapon skeletal mesh. Then you're going to have to pick which one you want. And whatever, I'm just going to use the rifle uh, that comes with it. Bullets in shot, one. Rate of fire is 600. Let's actually make this 1,000. We're just screwing around. Rounds in the magazine. We want, oh, 500 round magazine. Max ammo in BP uh, blueprint or backpack. I'm not sure exactly which that's going to be, but we're going to have 1,000 rounds. Rounds in burst mode, three. Nah. Let's make it a six shot burst. Jam risk. We're going to go ahead and put that at 0, 0.0. We don't want to jam. And there is a jam mechanism in the uh, the asset pack. Kind of cool. I like. But mm, like I said, this, this is good enough to get you started with. If you know what you're doing and know how to tweak things, then you can kind of make this work. Because it, as far as I can tell, is replicated for multiplayer. I haven't tested it in the multiplayer um, test yet, but I might give it a try later on. Okay, so you can set your damage, your crit multiplier, critical hit chance, your bullet speed, um, can the bullet ricochet, um, what type of projectile is it, we're going to leave it as the, I don't know, the standard stick, rocket, lightning, laser, HM, grenade, or parent projectile, we're going to leave it normal. The crosshair image. Eh, let's go ahead and I don't know where all the crosshairs are. Um, we're gonna give it the red dot. Muzzle flash effect. Mm. We'll go ahead and give it muzzle. The fire sound. You can go through and pick out all your different sounds here for what you want to use. Um, Okay. Um, yeah, fire weapon sounds good. Auto reload, yes. Consume rounds on reload. If you want to, whenever you change your magazine on it, if it dumps the remaining rounds in that magazine and it gets rid of it, you can select that. Um, you can tell it to reduce accuracy while moving, which is good, and then you can adjust the penalty for for that. Um, weapon direction fix. If there's any issues with the direction that the weapon is pointing, you can make adjustments here. Um, uh, the right hand location. Now, I've fiddled around with these values a little bit, and one of the things that I found is when you're messing with these, you don't see the changes until you actually close the entire project and open it back up again. I ran into the same thing when changing the sounds over. I, I would change the sounds to a, a new sound. And I'll, I'll do this as a temporary, just to kind of point it out. But let's go ahead and look through the last of the options real quick. Weapons, shooting animation. If the gun has its own animations, you can tell it to use that here. Um, here's where you select your animations for it. Well, this is a reload animation for a rifle, so we want AM reload rifle. And then for equip animation, we want equip rifle rifle right there and unequip we want unequip rifle all right so this is where you would adjust your recoil settings um, you can say okay does it have a range finder and you can set the values of the range finder and even the color for it and you can actually enable a weapon camera uh, and make adjustments to where you want the camera to go to. I'm going to leave it out for now, but since we have a, a weapon sound here already, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close, and then to get our weapon in the game, we need to drag out BP parent weapon 
drop it onto the ground and then over here on the right hand side in the details panel we want to select that auto receive input no um, dropped yes so we can actually pick it up and it'll drop and have its own little physics thing going on right there weapon stored the weapon ID we want to go ahead and use the value from here the weapon row name we're going to use beef Bart and paste that in there current ammo in the magazine we're going to go ahead and yeah whatever we're going to give it a thousand rounds and a thousand and fire mode is set in single shot yeah whatever that's fine weapon state uh, is it normal is it reloading is it jammed or no ammo we're gonna leave it as no warning and then we're gonna go ahead and hit save and play now as you see it is the beefo beefalo blunderbuss yeah I can't speak today so now we have it we can select it and you see the hand position is off and you can hear the sound for it. Here's our burst mode, and let's go into full auto. Interesting. Sounds kind of fall off there. So the sound doesn't work well with it, and as you can see, the hand position's off. So what we're going to have to do is come back into our DT underscore weapons, and this is where we would actually have to come in here and we want to and we can just copy the settings from the assault rifle and the easy way to do that is select the assault rifle and you can see the values here negative 30 17 and, and 06 but if you can't remember all of those all at the same time you can actually scroll and find where it is and that's where it is right here and we know that it's the second one down so we're gonna come to here and click on our beef low bark gun and we want to copy the left hand location is all zeros so we want to copy it over from the assault rifle right hand is all zeros left hand is negative 30 okay and our Y value is 17 and our Z value is going to be yeah, I'm just gonna put 0 0.6 because it's a relatively long number. So that should be sufficient enough. I'm gonna hit save, and just for the sake of it, I'm gonna hit save, save all, make sure everything's good to go. I'm gonna go back in here and play now. I'm gonna come over and grab the beef load blunder bus, change over to it. Hand position did not change at all. As you can see, it's still in the wrong spot. So, for the giggles, I'm also going to go ahead and create a new folder called Assets. And not that it's going to matter because I'm going to delete this anyway, but I'm going to call this Audio and I'm going to import. And bear with me for just a minute while I actually go in here and find where I put these things. Um, Is it in the new shit folder? New. Not a bit. So, what I've done was I actually created some uh, new sounds. Might be in the guns folder. So, I'm going to grab all four of these. I'm going to import them in. So, I'm going to use a 9mm sound. It's not bad. I got a rifle sound. long trail off but whatever shotgun sound and sniper sound so I'm gonna go back into our DT underscore weapons and we're still on our beef low bark gun and for our sounds what the heck we're gonna use the, the 9mm pistol sound I'm gonna hit save save all so we know that this is what that that's going to sound like. So now if I go in here and play and 
We know the pistol's got that normal sound. I'm going to grab the blunderbuss, change over. Sound did not change. If I want these changes to take effect, what I have to actually do is make sure that I got everything saved and I have to physically close down the project, reopen the project, and then it'll work. All right, so I went ahead and restarted the project so that we can see whether or not the weapon actually works or not. So we'll walk over here and see that it's on the ground. We'll pick it up, we'll switch to it, and we see the hand position is correct now. What about the sound? Single shot works. Let's try burst mode. Okay, no problem. Let's try full auto. Okay, no roll off. So, my overall opinion of this asset pack, and I'm going to say out of five stars, I'm going to give it a, a week three. Um, primarily because if you notice when we switch through our animations the cycling of animation is not smooth it's not intuitive it isn't clean it's changing from one animation to no animation essentially and then to the third animation so you're going through three different animations just changing your weapons I don't like that uh, I don't like the fact that it's just a direct rip of the animation starter pack which is free to download by the way um, the animation starter pack if you look at how we have a pistol equipped right now I hit H to holster it it's trying to put it behind my back but the pistol then magically appears on my hip so that tells me that yes that is an animation starter pack um, animation and there was no attempt made to edit the animation to physically look like it's actually getting close to putting it on my hip um, you can actually edit that animation starter pack animation and make it look like that. I've done it. It takes five minutes. So, if the author has taken shortcuts, on uh, what other shortcuts were taken? Look at the left hand. The fingers are all kind of friggin' whacked out. So, somebody was screwing with them and didn't fix them back the way they should have been. Minor thing, but noticeable. Um, the holster, if you hit H again, it doesn't unholster. Um, so then you have to go again to reaching behind your back to draw a weapon that's actually on your hip. So, yeah, the animations don't work for me. They're straight rips from the animation starter pack. The, um, the fact that you actually have to, when you're trying to create your own weapon, you don't physically get a whole new blueprint for that particular weapon. You actually have to essentially drag and drop it into the map and then, okay, once I've got it in the map, I can then go over to wherever it is. I have to sort through all of the different individual things here. Try to find where that weapon is and I'll click on it here so it's BPA parent weapon 12 okay yes I can hit F2 and I can rename this I call it beefalo gun and then now if I want to have multiples of that into the map I can then grab it and I can actually copy and paste essentially from inside the map you can't even do anything with it over here control C control V and then you actually have to manually slide it around. You can't drag it as a fresh blueprint, and that kind of annoys me. Um, yeah, the the biggest thing though is the fact that if I want to add a new weapon into the game, and it's a whole new model and so forth, you're gonna have to actually close the editor down, restart the editor, so you can see whether or not your hand positions are correct you cannot physically see them change so there's no way of knowing that you've got it right and that really just annoys me so yeah again on a rating of one to five five being the best and one being the worst I'm gonna give this week three 
I would say if it was on sale for half price, maybe consider it. Um, at 20 bucks, it's still a reasonable price, but I, I don't think it's really worth it. There's there's enough cool stuff that it will be worth half that, but since it needs a lot of work, then I would say probably no. If you're going to make a replicated thing, throw in a quick little multiplayer whatever and let it work. But, yeah, you have to do too much side work to make the author's stuff work. So it's not polished, it's not ready for release, so I would say yes, it is 3.1 for the version that it is, and I would say, unless it's fixed, don't waste your money right now. Sorry, if you're the author of this, I can give you a list of things that annoy me on it, but unlike um, some of the other authors that I've dealt with um, that actually have their own Discord channel, uh, where I can actually communicate right then and there on the spot we could have a conversation saying hey you should fix this hey you should fix that um, yeah your tutorial videos um, no voice that kind of annoys me also I'm old I get annoyed easy so yeah feel free to get in contact with me check in with my discord channel create your own discord channel what have you but I will give you a list of things that you need to address to fix this before I would suggest anybody even buy this. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.